There's been a heated debate for many months over whether the rail bridge that spans the Missouri River between Bismarck and Mandan will be repurposed or demolished. For now, it looks like that debate is over. The North Dakota Department of Water Resources has issued two permits to BNSF. Bella Craft tells us what went into that decision and how a group of bridge advocates are reacting. The waters of the Big Muddy are clearing as spring arrives, just like the fate of the rail bridge that spans the historic river. BNSF says it now has obtained all the permits and approvals to go and tear down the bridge and build a new one. We were disappointed in the rulings from the Department of Water Resources. Friends of the rail bridge say they're happy they got the chance to voice their opinions on the matter at the hearings. They are still looking at other options to saving the structure. We wanted to exhaust all the administrative steps that were available to us and that's where these hearings came in. Now that those steps have all been completed, we're going to look at what legal action might be possible for, uh, for Friends of the Rail Bridge. In a statement, BNSF said a new bridge will benefit North Dakota's major industries as well as the nation's supply chain. They expect construction will ramp up this spring and summer. The DWR says it reviewed all application materials but did not state what the deciding factors were when issuing the permits. Tree removal has already begun around the existing bridge. The project is estimated to take four years to complete. In Bismarck, I'm Bella Kraft reporting for your news leader. The new bridge is estimated to cost $100 million, which is $40 million more than when BNSF started the federal permitting process five years ago.